Always check your equipment, even if it is brand spanking new. We'll show you why. What's going on, guys? Today we got a 2018 model trailer. And I'm gonna show you why it's important for you to check equipment, even if it's brand new. Y'all out there? All right, let's get this thing moving. What's up, guys? Like I say, today we got a brand new 2018 model trailer. I ain't got a dent or a scratch on this bad boy. I'll show you the year model of it just to know that we're not pulling any trickery or anything like that. I'm going to pull out the title to this trailer. Let you guys see for yourself. All right, you can see right there, 2018. All right, the first thing we notice when we pull the trailer in the shop, we run every piece of equipment through our shop as it comes in. It don't matter if it's brand new or used or whatever, because we bought some brand new trucks and had some issues with them. But the first thing we notice when we hit the uh, hazard lights to go around and check all the lighting, the light didn't work in the back. On the right side, we had no lights. So we traced that down and we found a couple of issues with that. And I'm gonna clip that in now. All right, guys, as you can see, we just pulled the trailer in the shop. The right blinker is not working and neither is the right side marker light. As you can tell, we got fire going to it, but we don't have any blinking going on. So the next logical thing is to check your pigtail, make sure you got fire going on the right side blinking. So we went to check it and as you can see, it's loose. The bolts wouldn't even tighten up from the factory. Got inside and a lot of wire and was kind of in a disarray. Heat shrink not done, so that was the culprit on the wiring. All right, as you can see, that crappy wiring was the issue with our trailer lights not working. The next thing we did was got underneath and checked the brake adjustment and all the cross members and all that kind of stuff under the trailer. Um, like I said, we did a video on how we inspect our trailers, how we do an annual inspection, yada, yada, yada. So if you guys are curious about that, you can watch it. The right rear axle on this trailer was out of uh, probably two and a half to three rounds out of adjustment. So we got that fixed. And that's when we noticed that this PSI system that was installed on this from the dealer I'm gonna show you the issues that we have with that and you can see what's going on with that. I'm gonna put that in here now for you to take a look at. All right guys, as you can see we're underneath the trailer, the quarter inch air lines that they used to go to the PSI system, which is the auto inflation system on the tires, was loose flopping around and rubbing the air tank. So that had to be addressed. All right guys, like I say, this is a brand new trailer. Nobody has ever pulled it other from the manufacturer to the dealer and then from the dealer to her location. You can see it don't have any skin, scrapes, scratches, no dock plate markings, anything. It's a brand new trailer. So that is a perfect example of don't take the, oh, it's a brand new trailer or a brand new truck. There's not gonna be any issues in it. Always take the time, pull the truck or trailer into your shop and go over it because whether it was done at the factory or whether it was done at the dealership, it still had issues. So there's my tip for you guys. Take the time, check your vehicles, check your trailers, check your equipment. You guys have a great day. And like always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up or subscribe if you're not subscribed. We hope to do some more. You guys have a great week. We'll catch you next time.